All right, and welcome to another Robot Reading Guru instructional video. One of your activities you're going to be doing in Project Lead the Way Introduction to Engineering Design is called Activity 5.2b, Introduction to CAD Modeling Skills. And you should go ahead and read through this. There's a lot of useful information here in the introduction. Uh, we want to skip down to the very first part you're going to be making. And you notice there's a Roman numeral 1 right here. All right, each one of these Roman numerals is a different part. And a lot of kids will look at this first one and just kind of skip right by it, and they won't do it. Well, that's not good. We want to remember and do each one of these exercises. And this one is not part of part two. Part two is a completely different exercise. So let's take a look at part one. Very quick, very easy. Probably the fastest 10 points you'll earn in my class. And our job is to reproduce this part. Well, uh, let's take a look at it, what we have here. Uh, this is going to be a chance to, to practice with the fillet sketch tool. All right, the fillet sketch tool, uh, where two lines coming together meeting at a corner, and we can round them over. So what they're asking us to do is make a box that's two inches wide by 1.25 inches tall. So let's get to that. So we're going to start a brand new sketch. We're going to make it on the xy plane. And it's going to stay a, a 2D sketch. We're not going to extrude it. Click Rectangle. And we're going to go to Tab 1.25. Tab. That looks good. I'm going to click Enter. Click Front. And there's our box. Very good. So let's take a look and see what are we, what's the next procedure. We're going to fillet it. And we're going to fillet it three different dimensions. So we have a half inch here, three quarters of an inch here, and a quarter of an inch here. So where did I get that? Quarter, three quarters, half inch. All right, so let's go back to our part. We want the fillet tool. So I'm going to right click OK get out of the rectangle tool and there's fillet right there and even talks about using the fillet tool and how to use it so we're going to click on that and notice it says already says 1.25 well we want to make sure we put that dimension in first so we're going to change that to 250 so 250 thousandths or 0 0.250 and we'll come down here there's a couple different ways to do it. We could click this line and then click this line and get a fillet. So let's do that the first time. So click and you can see it's already starting to preview what's going to happen if I click that red line. Click and there we go. Quarter inch fillet. Now we're going to change that number to 7. There we go. So we're going to change that number to 0.750 or 750 thousandths. And again, we could click the red line here and click this red line. But instead, if you go right to the corner, you can see there's a green curve here, preview. That's faster. That only requires one click. And there we go, 0 0.750. This one over here is only going to be 0 0.50 or 500 thousandths. So 500 thousandths. Again, we click the corner. Let's be a little stubborn. There we go. And we're done. Let's take a look back at what we were trying to accomplish. And yep, 500, 750, 250, or 500 thousandths, 750 thousandths, 250 thousandths. Excellent. So we finished the sketch. And it's time to save that. We go up here, and this is a very important part of this whole thing, so don't turn off this, the video yet. We want to hit save, and it gives us a multitude of places to save. You're going to save this on your USB. So I pull down the menu here. I go to right here where it says local disk C. I could click there, but I can see my USB right here, HP 8 gigabyte robo and I can see oh look at that I've already saved a couple items here and you notice they have descriptive names 
They're not just part one, part two, part three. They're based on the name of the assignment. So I'm not going to name this just part one. That would be really poor. So if we go back to our document, we can see that this is about filleting, right? It's also Roman numeral one. Also, the activity here is activity 5.2b. So we're going to use all those together. So ACT 5.2b, it's part one and it's fillet. And I got to put my name or my initials there. And now I can hit save. But should I? Let's take a look. I'm going to end up with just this big long list of all the parts that I've made. That's not very organized. That big long list of all those different files, it's going to be really disorganized. We want something that's better looking, you know, somewhere we can find our parts quickly and easily. This is the equivalent of taking all the clothes that you own and putting them in a big giant pile and on top of uh, your desk or your bed or on the floor. All right, that's not good. All your clothes should be separated into you know, shirts and socks, right? And put away in separate locations. So when you need a sock, you go to the sock drawer, you open the sock drawer, you find socks, right? Well, your USB should be organized the same way. I'm gonna right click here, choose new, choose folder, and here's where I'm going to put all my unit four. Well, first off, we need something for just this class. You're going to use this USB for other classes too. So IED and then Robot Readinger. So let's click in there. Here, you need to have a different folder for the different units or the different projects. So first folder, Unit 4. And I'm just going to add IED at the end there. Good. Let's make another one. New folder Unit 5 IED. Another one just for puzzle, pro uh, puzzle cube projects. Now, you're going to be making parts for the Automoblox vehicle. So we're going to have a special one just for that. A-U-T-O-M-O-B-L-O-X. And then, also, there's the toy train. The toy train project is going to have a lot of different parts. So we want to put all those together. So this is a good start. Now the part we just made was, as you can see right here, 5.2b. So that's going to go in unit 5. Unit 5, Filet Robot Readinger, excellent. Save. Now I should go back and clean up that USB. So let's go take a look at that again. Um, here is what it looked like originally. Now we want these files, this old versions and these two here, we want them in Robot Readinger. But we also want them on Unit 4. So I'm going to right click. This is the USB uh, file folder. I found it by going to my file folders. And we're going to right click on this one, IED Robot, and we're going to open a new one. Open it as a new window. So we'll drag that up here. We'll drag this one down here. So we can see both of them. And then I'm going to open up Unit 4 IED. So now I could take this project, old versions, and I'm going to hold down the Control key and click on all the projects that I need to move. See that? I clicked here. I held down the Control key. I clicked on that one, and I clicked on that one. So these are the three that all need to go into Unit 4 
ID. Grab them, drag them, and now in Unit 4 ID I have Unit 4 activities. Very good. Excellent. So this is what I need to see. I need to see that you've organized your folders in the same manner. Okay, so that you can find stuff. Thank you for watching this video and have a great day.